time to start. Be careful you do not get hurt out there today. Lord Lapu? Pull back the men. As you wish. You mustn't worry. I would never do anything to make you sad. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Night Owl channel and welcome back to the series where we're counting down the top Dynasty Warriors characters as of the latest game. Coming in at number 31, we have the character who holds the title for the first original female character of the game, Diao Chan. Diao Chan is Dong Zhuo and Lu Bu's lover in Roman to the Three Kingdoms. She's one of Wang Yun's dancing servants who uses her beauty and charms to turn both of her lovers against one another. Due to the open nature of her origin, she can either be seen as a malicious or loving character. Before we jump into how Diao Chan, one of the original characters of the Dynasty Wars series, the original female character of this game has changed since her playable debut back in the original Dynasty Warriors game. Let's take a look at the popularity polls to see why Diao Chan is up here at number 31. In the first popularity poll, Diao Chan impressively breaking the the top 10, 1,886 votes out of a total of over 75,000 votes, putting her in the seventh position in the very first poll. Really cool to see her all the way up there. A lot of Diao Chan fans out there. In the second popularity poll, Diao Chan is going to drop down to the 28th spot. And then in my personal rankings, unfortunately, Diao Chan is going to drop all the way down to the 72nd position. For me personally, Diao Chan is extremely low. I've always been aware of the character. I know who she is. I know the part she plays. And because of that, that's why she's so low for me. Playing through all of her stories and going through the character through each of the games, her position for me will relatively stay the same because I just don't particularly like the character Diao Chan. And I don't have anything super against the character but uh, I don't really like you know who she is as a character the manipulation the tactics in order to get what she wants the kind of thing there are some games where she falls more on the loving side versus the malicious side and those games I tend to like her a little bit more her weapon style wasn't really exciting for me to play through her appearance I don't particularly like we'll talk more about that as we get to those sections but she's just a character that I've never really enjoyed playing and never really wanted to play I only played through her stories if I absolutely had to let's talk a little bit about Diao Chan's background before we jump into her changes within the game Diao Chan is an elegant and patient woman who displays her cunning with her charms normally a kind and benevolent individual she painfully conceals her true feelings for her father's scheme she does not enjoy violence yet finds that battle is inevitable in the time she lives in a talented dancer and singer she equates each encounter she fights as a dance. So Dao Chan was one of the four beauties of ancient China, and although she was based on a minor historical personage, she is mostly a fictional character. She has a romance with the warrior Lu Bu and causes him to betray and kill his foster father, the tyrannical warlord Dong Zhuo. She was praised and tailed as a woman of uneven beauty who did what no other hero in China was able to accomplish, which was putting an end to Dong Zhuo's regime of terror and eventually the end of Lu Bu, triggering the events that would lead to the formation of the three kingdoms of Wei, Wu, and Shu. So basically what happened with the plot to assassinate Dong Zhuo, it was actually, at least presented in the games, it was the idea of Wang Yun, who is Diao Chan's stepfather within the game, and he uses Diao Chan, or he instructs her, to become close to Dong Zhuo and Lu Bu and use them against each other to take down Dong Zhuo. So basically what happens in the game, Diao Chan falsely reports to Lu Bu and to Dong Zhuo that the other person was wrongfully embracing her. This causes emotions in both of the characters, and it leads Lu Bu to end up being outraged, which led to him killing Dong Zhuo. But let's go ahead and jump right into how Diao Chan has changed within the game. And let's go ahead and start off with her appearance. Like I said, I don't particularly like Diao Chan's appearance. Uh, her best looks is in Dynasty Warriors 8 and Dynasty Warriors 6. Hands down, she looks the best in both of those games. I actually like both of those appearances very much. But every other game, uh, Dynasty Warriors 5, like pre-Dynasty Warriors 5, it's not, it's like okay. Uh, Dynasty Warriors 7. I just didn't think she looked that good. I, I don't know. I just didn't really like her appearance in Dynasty Warriors 7, and I don't like her appearance in Dynasty Warriors 9. It just doesn't really appeal to me at all. I think Dynasty Warriors 8, hands down, was her best appearance. I just particularly don't like the way she looks in most of the games. Now, moving on to her weapon style. Her weapon style is not all bad, but it's generally not something that I would particularly enjoy playing. I did not really enjoy it that much. Her uh, the first weapon she has is the dual chui 
and it's an okay weapon it's like two little like maracas two little small maces and the weapon like style the move set was actually better in the earlier games like dynasty wars 2 and 3 i actually had a little bit more fun with that style in those games than i did in dynasty wars 4 and 5 um, but it wasn't you know super super fun it was just you know it was an okay weapon it wasn't anything that i would jump to play again and then moving on to Dynasty Warriors 6, she ends up getting the Chain Whip, which she ends up having all the way up into their most recent game. Now, Dynasty Warriors 6, you know, we already visited Zen G, and I had more fun playing with Zen G with the Whip than I did with Diao Chan. I don't know what it was, it's just I wasn't having that same feeling of fun when I was using Diao Chan in Dynasty Warriors 6. And then Dynasty Warriors 7, 8, and 9, I mean, it's okay. Dynasty Warriors 7 wasn't that great. Uh, Dynasty Wars 8, it got a little bit better because she, you know, they added some AoEs onto her strong attacks. Dynasty Wars 9, I mean, it's just fine. But uh, the best part about her weapon style is her Musao attacks. Dynasty Warriors, like, 4 and 5, her true Musao attacks, super cool. I really like the true Musao attacks for uh, those games. And then Dynasty Warriors 7, 8, and I want to say 9 too. 9 is not as flashy, like, it's not as aesthetic, not as... You know, it doesn't look as cool, but Dynasty Warriors 7 and 8, her second Musao attack, hands down, it was the best Musao attack. I mean, that's actually what made the style for me. It was a lot of fun to use those Musao attacks. I had a lot of fun with that, but her other ones were okay. Nothing too crazy. Uh, nothing that would make me want to play them again. But just for those second Musao attacks, I would use that weapon. Just based on that alone. But other than that, her weapon style wasn't really appealing to me personally. I didn't really enjoy it too much. Now moving on to her voice acting, which is probably the best part of the character to me personally. Um, her voice acting is actually pretty good throughout most of the games. Uh, the earlier games, you know, it's a little rough. I shall accompany you. And then Dynasty Wars 9, I would say it takes a step down. Master Lebu. This is as far as I will go. But like the pocket between like Dynasty Wars 5 and Dynasty Wars 8, uh, she had the same voice actor and she killed it. I think she did a great job. I will do everything that I can to ensure that your plan is successful. And I can't complain too much about it. I think the best part of this character is definitely her voice acting. The person did a very good job. And just a little fun fact about the person who voiced her from Dynasty Wars 5 to 8. Uh, she actually, because I, I, I recognize the voice. I definitely heard it from somewhere else and then looking into her background, she actually, this other game that I play, it's on my channel and I play it all the time. It's called Smite. She actually voices the character Scylla in that game and I just can't unhear it now. <laughs> they always say that, but I never do. She also voiced a couple other characters in the game like Jing Sai and I believe Zhao Chiao. I believe she voiced those two in some of the earlier games. Uh, but the main person she voices is Diao Chan, and she did a pretty good job. Again, I think the voice acting for Diao Chan is the best part about the character, hands down. Now moving on to her significant battles, her relationships, and her death. To start off with her significant battles, I guess technically you could say the Battle of Hulao Gate is her most significant battle because that's mainly the battle she's a part of. Um, technically she doesn't go with Lu Bu. Well, in some games she goes with him, but technically she doesn't go with Lu Bu after he goes to, you know, Japi and, you know... All those events happen, right? But the main battle, I would say, the most significant one she has, is the Battle of Hulao Gate. And of course, the events that follow that battle, which is the assassination of Dong Zhuo. Definitely a major event for her and, like, of course, for the story. Nothing really significant she plays in the battle, but if you do end up killing her before you kill Lu Bu, you do send Lu Bu in a rage. That's, I guess that's a small role that she plays within that battle, but other than that, she doesn't play any other big role uh, within any of the other stages, unless it's a hypothetical stage uh, for some of the other games. And now let's quickly talk about her death. It's not really known when she dies or even how she dies. There are a couple of rumors around or folk tales about how she dies. In a couple of different folk tales, it's actually said that Guan Yu ends up killing Diao Chan because Cao Cao presents Diao Chan to Guan Yu after he captures, uh, after he kills Lu Bu at Jia Pi, and of course, you know, captures the rest of the officers and everything. Um, he presents her to Guan Yu as a way of trying to win him over, and he ends up killing her right there because he suspects it's a trick. And in a similar tale, you know, Guan Yu, Liu Bei, and Zhang Fei are all fighting over Diao Chan, so Guan Yu ends up killing her to end the dispute. I don't know how true those tales are. I mean, they are tales. They're not really set in stone. Her, her death is unknown, and there's no... The games don't really go over it. So she either dies at the Battle of Hulao Gate, or she dies at the Battle of... Jiapi. I'm not really sure when the games kill her off. I would probably say it's more of the latter because, in, you know, some games she does end up going off with Lu Bu, especially when they play on 
you know, the romantics of their relationship. And then moving on to her relationships, I've already pretty much talked mostly about all the relationships she has in the game, which is going to be with Lu Bu, I guess Dong Zhuo, and you can even say Wang Yun, even though he is a non-playable character. Uh, we're going to start off with Wang Yun because he is an NPC. That's her father. You know, it's the person that basically sets her up to do all this, you know, just the way she is because of him. But she ends up assisting him with his goal of, you know, killing Dong Zhuo and trying to bring peace back to the land. You know, everything she's doing is for him. You know, she's trying to really do what she can in order to help. And Dynasty Warriors 6 and in Dynasty Warriors 9 is the two games that really uh, hammer that in. Every other game, you don't really see Wang Yun at all. And you don't really see his involvement within the series. And then with Dong Zhuo, she was just, you know, part of, again, part of Wang Yun's plan to kill him. He was just presenting her to Dong Zhuo as part of his plan. It wasn't anything sincere. At least the games don't depict anything sincere and it never came across as like Diao Chan ever really liked Dong Zhuo so um, definitely wasn't like a friendly relationship it was 100% more of like a manipulation tactic kind of thing just pretending to go along with his schemes or his plans or whatever in order to get closer to him so that she can end up having Lu Bu kill him and of course with Lu Bu they have a some games they have a very close romantic relationship other games um, I think Lu Bu still has a romantic relationship towards her I mean there are some points where you know he's doing things that you you know are out of character I would say for Lu Bu for her you know whether or not she reciprocates those feelings or not Lu Bu ends up doing what she asks regardless so uh, they had a very close relationship you know because Lu Bu was infatuated by Diao Chan and Diao Chan was able to you know win his trust by doing things for him and of course pleading to him with tears or whatever she needed to use in order to manipulate him to do what she wants again some titles it's a genuine feeling for him but that relationship with Lu Bu and Diao Chan is always there again going back to if you kill Diao Chan before you kill Lu Bu at Hulao Gate usually he ends up going berserk he gets a crazy amount of power you know he gets 10 times harder to kill than he already is and they definitely have that relationship within most of the games but that's pretty much all i have for diao chan here uh, one of the four beauties of china i didn't see it within the games but apparently she was <laughs> no i'm just kidding but i don't have anything particularly against her i just don't particularly like the character i don't like to play as her and i never really liked her appearance and then her personality i was never a fan of i didn't like how she went about achieving her goals very like manipulative and she might within the game she might be you know remorseful of the way she's going about what she's doing but it still doesn't make it okay i never liked it it's just not she's just not a character i could never really get behind and uh, she's never really a character that i genuinely liked her voice acting was awesome that's the best part of the character like i said but other than that i don't you know she's not a character i'll ever jump to play unless they like change her story or something but but anyway guys that's all i have for Dao chan here let me know what you guys think about her if you guys use her if you guys like her i'm sure there are people out there that like her almost 2,000 people voted her as her favorite character within that first uh popularity poll so definitely some Dao chan fans up there hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did definitely appreciate it. like comment subscribe again let me know what you guys think and i'll uh, see you guys within the next video thanks for watching everyone